Hey everyone, I had a request from a viewer a couple of days ago that asked for a couple of suggestions on how to hang one of these cutting boards that you get from Dollar Tree. This is a seven and three quarter inch diameter cutting board and it's glass. So um, I went went to Lowe's to see if I could find a couple of things and you know, more precisely, she asked for a way to hang it that wasn't going to be invasive on the look of it. So, I came up with a couple options that aren't too bad. One I like better than the other, but one's a little easier to do as well. So, and of course the one I like better is not the easier one to do. So, I'll show you these. I'm going to show you the first one and kind of explain it to you. What I found were two different types of these 3M uh, damage free hanging hooks and the larger ones will hold up to one pound each so this cutting board weighs just under 10 ounces according to my postage scale and the way these work you have these little sticky tabs and on the back of the surface now these work good for slick surfaces they won't work well on a textured wall so keep that in mind but on these little tabs, one side of it actually says wall side. So the other side, you want to peel off and stick to the back of this. And it leaves this little tag hanging down. You might want to trim that off if you don't want to see that. But uh, that's there so that you can pull on it and remove it at a later time. I'd say that you can probably pop it off the wall or you know, simply give it a twist and pull it off the wall later as well because I've worked a lot with a lot of these 3M things and that seems to be the, the way they work. And so these larger ones, and I'll put the barcodes, uh, picture the barcodes on the screen as I'm showing this for each one, but these larger ones actually have a little kind of a divot down inside the hook. So you could put one on the wall, put one on the back of the cutting board, and it will hang just like that and it is a little large you can see it through the glass maybe not so much when it's on the wall I'll put a piece of paper behind it and you know there's I got a lot of light in here so that probably shows through a little bit more than what it would on a wall it's not too bad it's a real easy option they are clear so they don't look too bad they don't look out of place any more than a little rubber feet of course you could take those off as well but this will hold up to a pound and that's six ounces over what these weigh so you should be okay as long as you're putting it on a, on a slick wall smooth wall surface so the other option that i found were similar same things these are little damage free hangers they come with the same little stickies the difference though is these will only hold a half a pound each and they don't have the little divot to hook one on the other one upside down like i just did so the option I would suggest for those would be to put the sticky on there. Again, it has the wall side marked. And you'll definitely want to trim it off, trim it off of this one because it'll stick out if you don't. And you want to put two of them on the bottom. Let me put this down. Like this. And then, so that they, they are kind of at... Uh, I'd say about five and seven o'clock on the bottom curve. That way it just kind of sits in there and rests. And then to hold the top in, you can take another one and stick it to the wall and put it on top just to hold it against the wall. Now, all three of them aren't load bearing, just the two bottom ones. So that's a half a pound a piece. And so one pound total. And it will probably hold better than the one up here since it's two points of contact with the third one holding against the wall. So I wanted to throw that out there, suggest that might be a good way to do that. These do look a little bit less invasive on the cutting board than that large one does behind it in my opinion, but you, you'll have to judge that for yourself and see if that'll work for you. If you have a textured wall, the only thing I could really come up with that might work well for this would be the little clear clips that are used to hold a mirror on the wall. And you can get those at Lowe's or any hardware store usually as well. I bought those little clips at Lowe's, by the way. But uh, you could use a similar concept, just put a couple down at the bottom, one up at the top, and you know, maybe put little brass, shiny brass screws or something in them to hold them on so that they, they look nice. Uh, so if you have a texture wall, you could do it that way. 
So hopefully that answers that question. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. As happens so often, right after I finish, finished filming that first segment of the video, I came up with another idea that might work well for a lot of people if you have a textured wall, or this just might be the preferred way to do it as well. That is to put two of those smaller hooks on the back of it like this, and you could put a single uh, nail or tack in the wall or picture hanger, and run a piece of monofilament line, like fishing, clear fishing line, through this hook just make a, a tight loop so that it doesn't hang down too far and hang it right on a nail. With two of these on here you have a pound of hang hanging strength that's more than enough and it should hang fine like that. So uh, just a third idea there hopefully that helps out and uh, again if you like the video and uh, it's been helpful to you please feel free to share it and click subscribe on the video and if you have any questions uh, please post them down below.